Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In previous video tutorial, I have shown you how to configure Oracle WebLogic server uh, in Eclipse. So, and now in this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to deploy a web-based application on Oracle WebLogic server 12c. So here is the Eclipse. Let's go ahead and create a web-based application. So right click over here and go to the new and make sure you are in java e perspective then you will get this option dynamic web project so let's select this option click on this option and here i'm going to show you i'm going to write the project name hello web app and here environment make sure you have selected oracle web logic server now rest of the things leave as it is as a default now click on the next again next and select this generate web.xml deployment descriptor now click on the finish eclipse will take few seconds for processing and your web based application will be created on the left panel So now you can see web hello web app web based application is created and uh, this is the uh, directory structure for web based application uh, in web content directory I am going to create a HTML file so right click on the web content and go to the new and select this option HTML file. my computer is a bit slow now uh, here let's create a index.html and in this index.html just i'm going to print a hello message So here we have created index.html. In the body section, I'm going to print a message with size So in body section just uh, I want to print a message with size h2 s3 hello world that's it let's save this file and now uh, this web based application I want to deploy on the web logic server so right click on this project and go to the option uh, run as if you want to debug if you want to uh, deploy in the debug mode then you can select the debug as but i want to select run as and go to the run on server option and here eclipse will give you the option where you want to deploy this project so you have a tomcat 8 as well as oracle web logic in this workspace right i have configured so i'm going to select oracle web logic and click on the next and hello web app is selected now now next next and finish now your web logic server is going to start saying that is starting oracle web logic Now here you can see that is a synchronized mode. So web logic server is starting saying that that is just trying to now it is synchronized and it is starting. So once this will be started then you can see the status over here started.
so this will take few minutes to start you can view the console so every status is going to print on the uh, console now it's saying that server state changed to running and if you go to here server and it is still in starting so uh, this will be reflected soon as we started so just wait Now you can see server is server is status is in started mode. So now WebLogic server is started. Now you can go and you can log in into the WebLogic server by typing HTTP colon slash slash localhost uh, colon seven double zero one console. So just I'm going to log in into the application so my machine is bit slow today Now I got the web service admin console here you need to type the username and password. So username is weblogic and password is weblogic1 and press enter. Now you can see when I hit this URL and I am getting this output hello web world uh, from our web based application. So basically index.html is getting forward to do the forwarded to the client and we are getting this output if we, you hit this url on the external browser like chrome then you will get the same output over here so here we got the same output and uh, uh, we have logged in into our web logic admin console and if you go to this option deployments so click over here and here you can see hello web app is uh, deployed on the uh, admin server so if you have a uh, more than one server like you, one you have an admin server and you can have a many managed uh, server in the uh, web logic so uh, at a time if you want to deploy this project on the admin server as well as on the many managed server then that you also can do so those things we'll see in next video tutorial so if you have a web logic application server then uh, you also would like to deploy some kind of EAR file right if you have an enterprise application then you might be uh, using EJB or J, JMS kind of comp JS, JMS component and if you are using EJB and JMS component then you require a application server like web logic, web sphere, uh, glassfish or JBoss these are the application server mostly we used in the Java J2A projects. So in this project basically I have shown you how to uh, create a web based application, simple web based application and how we can deploy uh, same on the web logic application server and uh, after logging into the admin community deployed or not right. So thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial.